front hall, mid hall and back hall is terminology which relates to the architecture of the radio access network and it can apply to 5G or indeed 4G. It actually directly relates to the transport network, so the way in which we shift packets of data around the network. And you'll only see the actual explicit front hall, mid hall and back hall elements of the transport network if you've deployed your radio access network in a centralized solution. And what that means is we, we take the E node B or the GNB and we break it down into functional elements and you can see those elements on the screen. It's the centralized unit, the distributed unit and the remote radio unit. So collectively all three of those will perform the job of say a 5G GNB or a 4G E node B potentially. Now the point is that these are geographically distributed and there's a variety of different reasons why you, you do this, why you deploy centralized RAN. And we're not really going to get into the details here. It's just that when you do deploy this approach and you do have geographically separated network elements of the RAN, you need to link them all up to one another. And this is where the terminology comes into play. When we link up the remote radio unit to the distributed unit, we call that a front hall transport network. Between the distributed unit and the centralized unit, we call that a mid hall transport network. And then finally, if we've got connectivity, inevitably between the centralized unit and the core network, we would class that as the back hall transport network. Key point to note, each step along the way will have different transport network requirements. So you might find that in the front hall, the bandwidth requirement and the latency target is a lot bigger in terms of bandwidth and a lot lower in terms of latency than compared to say the back hall.